In a world filled with constant noise and chaos, finding peace through detachment is a powerful journey worth exploring. Hi, people. My name is Shana Chije. If self-development is your vibe, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join the community. Let's continue the conversation on detachment. It's no secret that there is a negative connotation attached to detachment, but that is so untrue. Detachment is not a bad thing. So what is this? Detachment is about letting go of our expectations to people, outcome or circumstances. Letting go of things that are outside of our control. Capiche. So if that sounds like a bad thing to you, I don't know. How 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 is detachment a bad thing? People hear detachment, they think, oh, why would a person want to detach? Maybe they had family issues, bad past experiences mommy or daddy issues no no my parents have been happily married for 35 years 30 years <laughs> they dated for five years they have seven beautiful children if i do say so myself it is not bad it is a state of being aloof or objective which is necessary when you understand that you do not have control over everything and it's not possible to have control over everything especially when it doesn't concern you you have to learn to detach for your own mental security and your mental safety detachment is not that you don't own anything it's more like nothing owns you and nothing has your power except from you i'm so comfortable being alone myself it's crazy maybe because i was the only person in my department so i spent the entire three years of uni by myself so i'm very comfortable in my own world that's detaching emotionally socially and all that is easy and that's exactly why i'm the best person to teach you about detachments i'm literally the queen detachment is a practice that helps you navigate life's ups and downs with ease i detach because it allows me to rely on my own power and not be at the mercy of others it helps me to reduce anxiety even when you speak of bad past experiences it helps to detach from those experiences so they do not end up being your own identity in detachment i'm put in a position where i am chased or rather i attract things to me and i'm not the chaser oh what do you think of me doesn't matter no it doesn't matter to me i am at places where I am welcomed, not, I don't force myself to be in positions. Oh, I'm so beautiful, bro. <laughs> Detachment allows you to authentically be yourself. And one of the first rules of attraction is that you can represent yourself authentically how you are. Oh, my favorite cake is not red velvet because yours is. No, my favorite cake is chocolate because mine is. And if I were to do something out of love for you, I would get you chocolate cake because I, I want you to like chocolate cake as well as I do, not trying to get you red velvet just so, oh, oh okay, we have something fun. No, I'm going to represent myself authentically how I am and I'm not going to do anything to try to impress you. Rather, I'm the one that's going to be chased by you because I am self-confident in myself enough I know who I am and I understand my identity. That's what it is to be disarmed. You let your friends based on the standards that you set for other people. You shouldn't let people into your life just because you're afraid of being alone, or you're afraid of being lonely. No. Attachment means you have standards for the people. What? Detachment? If I've been saying detachment, attachment, I meant detachment for some reason, like it's just rolling off my tongue. Detachment means that you're going to have standards for yourself and for the people in your life because you enjoy your own company and you're not afraid of being alone. You're not going to be outside anxious, no, you're going to be confident and you're going to be happy in your own company. In a nutshell, detachment is representing yourself as a singular and whole entity without the noise of other people telling you who you are or you trying to impress other people no you're in your, you're, you're in your own power and in this way you're able to be a blessing to everybody around you only if you are able to detach from social constructs 
or people's opinions. You're going to represent yourself how you are. You're not going to be seeking validation from anybody. This actually is not about disconnecting or being different. No, but rather it's about finding a balance between engagement and relief. It's a practice that allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with ease because we understand that we cannot control outcomes of situations. But going where you're separated, not where you're tolerated. There are some practices to help you better understand what detachment is and for you to decide if choosing to leave a detached lifestyle is going to help you, which it will. Second one is don't try to change people, you're not their mommy. You need to understand that people sell themselves. Period. They show you their best selves. Obviously, I'm not going to come to you and tell you I'm a serial killer. I'm not. But I'm not going to come to tell you, oh, I'm a, I'm a pathological liar. I'm not going to come to tell you, oh, I have a hard time with commitment. No, I'm going to come and try to sell you the best parts of me so that you can buy me, you can buy the product, right? And this is why you should never drop the gun. Take your time to understand people's situations best before you jump the gun, okay? And then when people show you who they truly are, believe it, believe it. And then return the good to the store, say no, thank you, thank you, next. I'm so fucking tired, I'm so fucking tired, I'm right, and thank you, next. Yeah, that should be your exact attitude towards it. Do not ever be like, oh, I can, don't worry, he'll change, he'll be, she'll change, she'll be, no. Believe them when they show you their true sides. Believe them. Never put yourself in a situation where you cannot take yourself out of before you begin to understand people properly and know them for who they really are, not who they tell you they Hello. are. Yes, you've gotten attached in some way due to constant communication and all, but never let it be things that are too deep that you cannot remove yourself from that situation. So don't try to change people, you're not their mommy, they're not going to get better. When they show you who you, they are, believe them. And also, don't jump the gun, be in a position where you can truly tell and understand the situation before you choose whether or whether or not to put yourself in that situation. When it comes to people, businesses, and everything in your life. Okay, number two, how to master detachment, how to be detached is to have emotional intelligence. Oof, oof, oof. This is not even talked about enough. Emotional intelligence is teaches you how to use, manage your emotions in a positive way in order to relieve stress, communicate effectively, and have empathy for other people. You need to be able to control your impulse. This goes in, okay, not jumping the gun, like I said. Emotional intelligence is basically being a logical person. You're going to come off on situations based on what it is and based on the facts and not based on what you're feeling. You're going to be empathetic and not impulsive. You're going to have reason. You're going to be logical. You know, you know. You're able to take accountability for your actions and not be afraid to apologize where you're wrong. And rather than being reactive, you're going to be logical and understand situations for what they are based on the facts. When it comes to detachment, one thing I want you to take out of being emotionally intelligent is the aspect of being able to manage your emotions and not being impulsive. You understand that you cannot control every singular outcome it's so you're not going to be anxious or stressed by situations that you cannot control take a step back and understand your own emotions why were you feeling that feeling think before you act it's just like arguing unnecessarily with people in a situation where you feel like you can never win because they're not trying to listen to you or hear their point let it go. Like arguing with people to prevent them from leaving. You cannot control a person and you cannot control every outcome. So sometimes you swallow your L and you swallow it and you move on. You heal and you move on. Okay. Navigating relationships with detachment. Detachment doesn't mean distancing ourselves from others. Actually quite the opposite. It actually enhances our relationships with others. It leads to healthier connections and reduce conflict because I'm not 
throwing words back and forth with you when you choose not to hear my points. You choose to ignore my points because you feel like you're right. Okay, that's fine. I've said my word and if you choose not to agree, that's okay. I'm not going to argue with you for whatsoever reason. I cannot control you and I cannot control the outcome. It makes relationships healthier because you're not trying to force your opinions or beliefs on other people. You're accepting the way they believe their, their things and it's with that acceptance that leads to healthy relationships and fosters respect because I respect your opinion as well as you respect mine. It helps you to have a deep appreciation for everybody's unique journey and what everybody's going through, so much emotional energy to so how things are supposed to be. That oftentimes we forget how they actually are. So take your power back and understand that you cannot control everything in life, especially not other people. Subscribe, like. And all that, all that, all that, all that good stuff, okay?